We're starting it on Tinder. Trigger warning. And it has one of those emojis. You know, like, oh, well, I'm probably about to say something really offensive. You're probably nearing 30 with or without someone else's kids. And now you want to date and settle down with a real man. By the age of 25, you've thrown out your price a minimum of four times because you deserve a Better. I've got a comfy life and a good job that pays a 40k plus a year with a house on the way. What do you bring to the table? If the answer is your kids, your looks or holiday wishes, go pound sand. <laughs> what does that mean? No man that has a shred of self-respect would even touch you. Do they realize they're on a dating site? <laughs> and the entire point of the site is for dating? As in you're meant to meet somebody and talk to them and probably have a relationship? That's not what you say if that's what you're looking for. Like the top comment says, who the hell do these guys think are gonna read that and be like, oh yeah <laughs> I've gotta message this one. Yeah nobody's gonna read that and be like, oh my god, yeah <laughs> I'd love to have a conversation with somebody who's already insulting me. It's a late at night right now. We're on the Nice Guy subreddit. And that is a terrible idea, but we're here anyway, and we're gonna try and have a fun time. And I hope you're excited, guys. I just got done filming a members-only video, which was super fun and super wholesome. And now, yeah, <laughs> we're doing something not so wholesome. And with that being said, let's get into it. <laughs> and try not to have a nice nightmares tonight. Ladies, nice guys deserve a chance too. Stop a friend zoning us. Yeah, like they might be right and they might be a nice guy getting friend zoned. If the friend zone is even a real thing, <laughs> I'm not sure if it is. I feel like it entirely depends on what your expectations are going into the relationship. You know, if you want to date everybody, then everybody's going to be friend zoning you. And also, women could say the same thing in reverse. Yeah, like this comment says, Fellas, ladies deserve the chance to have friendships as well. Stop a sex zoning us. I love that about Reddit. Every time I think something, <laughs> it's already a comment. Am I the a-hole for staring down this guy talking to my crush? I work at a warehouse. I've had a huge crush on the auditing girl forever. I've shown my interest countless times, but I just don't know how to advance it more. I think she is receptive to me though, and I definitely have a shot. Anyways, I was assigned to load things up near her station. I started talking to her about a lot of things, and I felt that our conversations were going great. After a while, another guy was assigned to the same area that I was to load. He was small and looked like a nerd. Anyways, they started talking a lot, like almost a 15 minute straight. It seemed like they were flirting by their body language. I finally had enough and stared him down. Keep in mind I'm 6'1", very built, and I did Muay Thai for two years. So I'm the last person this guy wants a problem with. <laughs> As I positioned myself in an aggressive stance, staring at him, basically saying for him to back off with my body language, he did eventually and walked away from her. After 20 minutes of working silently, I tried to talk to her again, and she wasn't responsive to me at all. It was so weird. It just pisses me off. I don't know what to do. Thoughts on what happened? Oh, buddy, you don't own this person. <laughs> you can't be super possessive. You know, like, I understand that they're super interested in this person, but you can't, like, growl off other people. You know, like, you're a 
pack of dogs or something. No, she's mine. That would very obviously weird somebody out. Too narcissistic to have the horizontal mumbo or meet girls? I'm a college student and I have an issue. I feel like I'm too comfortable slash in love with myself to care about meeting other people. I truly believe I'm one of the funniest, most charismatic, kindest and smartest people I've ever met. Oh my god. <laughs> I've always been in high achieving competitive circles and most girls I've talked to or befriended just have felt empty and like they offered nothing to my life. I have some close friends and I know a lot of people but I have never felt the need to develop close relationships with women. I'm perfectly content being by myself. However, I don't want to be single for my whole life and I want to find the one. A kind, friendly, funny and ego-free girl. <laughs> I just struggle with the fears that I'll never find someone up to my standards. Yeah, but there's a difference between having standards and thinking that you're literally perfect and can't get any better. I don't think it's good to put yourself down. You know, like self-love is good, self-confidence is amazing. But there's a difference between that and thinking that you're literally perfect. You know, like obviously nobody's perfect. And if you get in the mindset of being like, I'm so perfect, I don't need to improve, you know, like this is the end of the line. That's when you're gonna start running into issues. <laughs> I'm 36 and never been married and never had children. Normalize it. It just never happened for me, but I'm still happy. Y'all keep bringing it up, so I doubt you're that content. Yeah, but what's crazy is she most likely chose the wrong partners over the years who've done her wrong one way or another when there probably was a dude in her DMs or on the sidelines <laughs> who was willing to treat her like a queen and marry her, but she wasn't attracted to him. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, like the top comment says, I wonder how many people he's not attracted to that he's deemed worthy of a chance. Yeah, like they don't do this <laughs> in reverse. You know, like, oh, you just don't give the nice guy a chance because you're not attracted to him. Guaranteed they don't do that either. And also you can't blame somebody for not being attracted to someone. <laughs> like, oh, if only you dated me if you were attracted to me, but you're not. But even though you're not attracted to me, you should still date me? Nah. <laughs> How long do you think that's gonna last? <laughs> Send me anonymous messages. What app is this on? I don't know, but I'm nervous. You deserve better. <laughs> Someone who wouldn't make you cry like I do. When you cry over those freak boys, you should probably check your friend zone a list first. <laughs> People like me would treat you like an absolute queen. If only you gave me a chance. All you females only ever pick the toxic guys. Bro, you're not giving yourself a chance. <laughs> but you'll pass up because we don't have six packs and aren't six foot four. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to tell them how they feel. Like, oh, you females only pick the toxic guys, but you'll pass us up because we don't have six packs. You know, like if you say stuff like that, <laughs> they're definitely gonna pass you up. Obviously, I'm just trying to use common sense here, but like it's probably not a good idea to just jump to conclusions before you even have a chance to get to know the person. You know, like you might think this and then you might talk to them and it might be completely different. You know what I mean? And also you might send somebody something like this and then they'll pass you up and say that they're not interested, but it's not for the reason that you think it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? So then you assume that all women just actually like toxic guys, but in reality they might just not like somebody that's jumping to conclusions and making assumptions about them. It's a very mean to ignore someone for no reason. Or did you not see my messages? Did I do something bad to you? You know, I'm a veteran. I fought for this country and I helped engineer transportation to city field you like so much. To be ignored 
ignored and condemned for no reason and treated so disrespectfully is unacceptable. Until I get an answer, your inbox will always be full, as I have no idea if you are even reading this. You're ugly. You're lucky I'm talking to you. Wow. Yeah, very lucky to be called ugly. <laughs> are you joking? <laughs> you can't just take your anger out on somebody because they're not responding. How dare you not talk to me? I'm that nice guy that your mama wanted you to date, but you never wanted to because I didn't drive a motorcycle <laughs> and I got good grades. But now we're adults, so... So what? <laughs> you should just date someone that you're not interested in because you're adults now? Nah. <laughs> you know, like we've done Tinder videos before. It's probably not a good idea to judge a dating profile bio because like most of them are pretty bad <laughs> or, you know, corny. I feel like it sort of encourages that. You know, like I don't want to make fun of this too much because maybe it's really hard to write a good bio. But at the same time, I feel like it needs a bit of work. Yeah, I saw this video on Instagram last night. Bro cannot handle rejection. And I'm pretty sure they like say hello to these girls. And the girls keep walking. So they like start punching the sand. Yeah, that's what happens when she only looks for chads and or Tyrones. And wants to ride the carousel. She overlooks the regular guys who don't mind treating her right. <laughs> like a hundred percent doesn't apply to what happened in the video. Like they said chads and Tyrones and riding the carousel. Yeah, I think that's enough guys. <laughs> I'd probably read more but it's bedtime and I don't want to think about this all night. <laughs> so let's make it all better with some wholesomeness. Nursing 101. Here, some tea. Oh, thank you. Good night. Wait, no kisses. You'll get infected. Kiss. Worth it. <laughs> so cute. What's that? We get to be sick in bed together? Count me in. <laughs> Actually, no, don't count me in. Being sick is like my worst nightmare. Well, not my worst nightmare, but anything that stops me from filming videos. No thanks. <laughs> when I walk outside and an elderly woman compliments me on my dress. <laughs> I am a princess. Yeah, when any old person compliments you on anything, it's so cute. Like, oh, you called me handsome? <laughs> I'll never forget this. Five-year-old me trying to convince my mum to buy me something. Yeah, like just trying to act really cute. I have a Simpsons reference for this. It's an obscure one. But that episode where Lisa wants to buy licorice? I'm going to vote no on 24. Mom, you're the greatest. Can I have this licorice? When you had a long day and you get to feel warm and comfy with that one special person. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Damn, <laughs> that is so sweet. I feel like we need some wholesome memes that aren't so wholesome. Thank you for watching today's video, guys. That was so fun. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, all that fun stuff. And the comment of the day today goes to Call Me Satan. Great video as always. You are what gets me through my household work each day. Aw, thank you. I'd love to see another incel tier video soon. Lots of love from Germany. Aw, <laughs> that is so sweet. The fact that my videos help you with your household work each day makes me so happy. And yeah, I'll do another incel tier video very soon, 100%. Just so you know, I wrote this down. <laughs> Incel tier, just so I don't forget. Knowing me, it'll probably take me a fair while to do that. <laughs> I seem to take a long time to do anything. But yeah, I definitely will. And thank you for the idea. And on a serious note, thank you for all the beautiful comments, guys. I was reading them on the video that this comment was on. And there are just so many funny and nice and supportive comments. Warms my heart. And on that very wholesome note... 
have a beautiful rest of your day, guys. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.